not 100% confirmed, but if that's the case, then holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have thanks to play for breaking, around with that. Thanks for breaking the game. Yeah. That. Yeah, a one a one shot body hit pistol. It's a pocket op if if that's the case. I don't know. I mean, yeah. The uh the update quite literally just came out. But it's out. balanced because it's so inaccurate if you right click shoot it. No. Well, yeah, you see Akis right here playing with that. That just new, that, that if new anything that just adds a, that if anything that just adds a random factor to the game when you can just randomly right click spam a revolver and maybe you get yeah. a one shot kill on someone. And I'd rather reduce the the amount of random events rather than increase them. Either way, pistol round is about to uh, go underway. Just a quick update for you: sixteen seven was the score line on Dust Two Splice's map. Splice taking that victory, and now we're on Denial's map. They're on home turf. They're very good at cash. Uh, Denial forced to start off CT side dust. Looks like they're setting up you know, for a bit of a, a default with a little bit of pressure about to happen on the A site. Yeah, uh, pretty spread out here from Splice. Just looking for a push. Rue is already inside the door. We do have Stewie at A main, Peter by the boost, Slimmy close by with the bomb. So it seems like they do want to go for execute. You do see Peter with a smoke, which he can use to maybe bounce off the box and, and block off like highway and CT spawn from spotting them crossing into the site. Uh, so that could be certainly the use. Let me actually set up a set smoke from outside. A eh? Ruru is doing 360s right now. In the yeah, door. I don't know what he's <laughs> so, doing here. <laughs> so here comes the A hit, as I was talking about. Yeah, there it is. Pretty strong. One player by quad. Peter's going to peek around the corner and uh, finds him. That's sick. Completely distracted. And uh, Whitmer and Shinobi very fast on the rotate retake. Oh, look at Shinobi. Nasty kill. Spamming through smoke. Finds the headshot. Putting us into a uh, two versus three. Slimmy drops the bomb. Got one good post plant position behind quad. Nice. That's Peter picking it up. But he finds himself all alone. Vice going to push the issue. If they're just patient with it, they should be able to trade this kill out. Yeah, so well done on the retake there from the CT side of the Nile. I mean, it was a good smoke wall from Splice. They put that one in front of Forklift that I mentioned that kind of blocks off anyone from peeking them crossing into the site from Highway. But they put a second smoke up as well right next to the big box that also just basically made a complete wall to the A-bomb side. But you actually saw the Nile kind of spamming through it. They even caught, I think, a bullet with uh, a kill with a stray bullet through it. Uh, and they just re retook the site very, very well, you know, despite the nice execute from Splice. So big round for Denial. They're now up 1-0 to zero. again. Uh, just to put this into perspective, we did see Splice win the first match, so Denial needs us to force the third. And on top of that, whoever loses this series is eliminated from the qualification process. They're out of the tournament, so there's a lot on the line here. Shinobi gets blinded and caught out in the open by a four-man push in the mid. And this completely opens up the map and gives Splice so many options. They're going to push straight through uh, mid towards spawn and then just explode onto the b-bomb site two stacked really close there goes one vice is stuck behind the uh the spammable box he's gonna get dropped quickly that's a 2k for slammy along with the bomb plan so four on two here Ruru picks up the m4 able to catch that cd spawn rotate so the four spy from splice on a quick b hit comes into play and is effective and so they will immediately reset the knowledge economy pretty much force them into double save territory and give them a great chance to go ahead and take an early 3-1 lead here in the game so if you lose pistol that stinks but you know the next best thing is resetting the economy in the next round and we do see sick actually evening out his team's economy knowing they're going to double save anyway by getting an m4 here giving them a little bit of a chance uh so we'll see if denial can respond right back they're like gambling pretty heavy on this a site yeah six is going to be sitting here at the boost so he's trying to go for that cheeky kill up top, a little bit of pressure going on at mid. One of the T's instantly drop, and we're just watching sick. Hoping the A kiss peeks around the corner. He's gonna do it. He's gonna peek around. Sprays not able to get the kill though. So much for the M4. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it didn't really work out. Splice is cracking open the A-bomb site, the spot it being stacked, but there's still Shinobi here and Vice, and so now they're fighting right back here with a nice crossfire, catching this A-main push big time. Splice starting to lose their numbers, starting to dwindle out, and Shinobi just keeps coming back with that M4, way to recycle it and put it back into use, and so Splice, they fall for the trap, they run straight into that stack, and now Denial makes the force work, kind of digs themselves out of the, the hole they dug themselves economically by losing the second round, and it's actually Splice who's a little bit pressed for cash, but they can still get the AKs out and, and still try to reset Denial's economy again. Yeah, so the gun advantage is actually shifting or uh, remaining in favor of Splice. Shinobi, how about that 3k, though? 
Big play from him to bail his team out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought it was over. As soon as that M4 dropped, I thought there, there was no chance left. Uh, Whitmer. Spotting the player in Squeaky. Does a little bit of damage. Gets tagged up himself. Not too much. He's going to back off. Splice. Playing it nice and slow. They're just... Uh, Look for contact. Look for just a little bit of information. Where are these players at? They know at least one is playing highway. That's Whitmer. Three at highway, actually. Yeah. Denial just kind of giving up the A-bomb side almost to a little bit. Uh, degree here. Shinobi's not really playing in the side. He could just get smoked off completely, but he's trying to duel Ruru here. And the door's already been a lot of damage dealt to Ruru, but he's still staying alive, remaining a nuisance, uh, and keeping pressure applied. While well, the rest of Splice is kind of set up for whatever they want to go for, which is mid control. They boost up and they're getting the nice. mid control, getting the better end of these trades at mid. They now have a four on three and they have so many options open to them now that they have this control. Akez looks like he's just doing a little bit of a fake at B side, breaking the vents, trying to find somebody. Shinobi hiding back at Quan. He finds a single kill, but he's going to get pushed on all sides. Nice. Using the Molly to try and flush him out. Slemmy finds the kill with Tech 9. Bomb's going to go down. Stewie 2K finishes the job. 2-2 two, two is your score line at this point. All tied up. Yeah, I mean, that's really big. With the Nile putting so much emphasis on playing that highway position, and then they still get killed by the mid-control push from Splice and get Splice into a 4-on-3, that's just massive. So win that duel, get the control of middle, open up your options on what you want to do. Akis able with that one little shot at Vince to kind of keep that B player in position. At that point, they just isolate Shinobi at A and win the round. And now Denial forced to save again. Economy kind of reset a second time this half already. Stacking again towards mid and A, which leaves B completely open, and Splice are knocking on the door over there. Yeah, but it's going to be up in heaven. Slammy with a mean shot takes him down very fast, and uh, with B-side completely unstacked, it's going to be absolutely no problem getting the bomb plant at this point. Shinobi's got the M4. Shoots him to hang back. Save the weapons for next round. Very low on money for Denial, though. They're going to have to... They are going to have to go ahead and save next round as well. Yeah, definitely. No I mean, choice. keep that keep that M4 on. Yeah, yeah, they're way too out of position uh, to try to go for this, and they can keep the M4 and the armor uh, as well as you know, just trying to get a couple exits here. They do take down Ruru, so they're forcing a little bit of rebuying here. But their money's so low, man. They're going to be on just these pistols and the M4 again next round. So this is giving Splice a lot of room oh, to kind of uh, exert their force and, and, and increase their lead. Yeah, a couple more members of Denial are going to go down, but the important thing, Whitmer was able to go ahead and pick up Shinobi's M4, carry it on into the next round. Like we were talking about earlier, they're so low on cash, they don't have the round uh, loss bonus going on, just, what, second round loss bonus at this point. Force into a double save situation. This round's going to look exactly the same for Denial. Looks like they're going to fully stack the A site. CT is flooding in, and Splice is just not there. Yeah, I mean, it's just a big mid control here from Splice, and they're oh, actually the up highway. Stewie 2K already spotting out this A stack from there and getting the kills. Akis also chiming in, so they're, they're aware of what's up, but they're just going to brute force their way in anyway. I mean, they're getting the kills. Why not? But sick. That's a couple of nice little deco kills there, and Vice finds one as well. Yeah, Vice, Vice made it into a costly round right there, along with Sick. sick. But Splice are able to go ahead and pick up the, uh, pick up the round. Whitmer, Whitmer, did he buy for somebody? Why is he so low? Not sure. Maybe he committed a little bit too much in one of their force buy rounds, which left him kind of dry on funds for this one. So yeah, even though Denial is supposed to be in a full buy, one of their players is at a bit of a loss here. We'll see what they can do, though. They actually have Shinobi boosted over this smoke to try to peek the, any type of play from Splice trying to get on their own boost spot, but no one from Splice is doing that, so that... You know, a little play there from Shinobi not going to yield anything, but no harm, no foul. As it's just kind of default here, but Rue actually already slips into the A side at forklift. Yeah, where are Shinobi? No clue. Both stacked into the B side there. You get one kill, which tells him that it might be a good idea to go ahead and stay there. Slimy out, squeaky, takes the site. And wow. now he's going to start calling. Hey, guys, nobody's on A site. We know that they're stuck on B. Rotate the bomb all the way on in. And now you see Vice and Whitmer. At B site, wondering what well, what what the heck happened. We're in a one versus three situation. We've got some weapons, but 
Wow. I mean, that's just a big play from Ruru to get inside that A's bomb site undetected, using that smoke on forklift to, you know, prevent the player in A site to have vision, and he just gets a free kill on Shinobi up highway. And yeah, you know, you do eventually see the trade come in, but then Slimmy's right there to trade it back, and yeah. that's an open A bomb site. And you got to think Shinobi's on tilt. I mean, he thinks he's perfectly fine. He's got a guy on the A site to watch that for him, and he just gets killed for free. That's a massive frag for Splice. And a miscommunication there, sort of. Kind of a bold play Denial. from Ruru too, right? Denial also, I mean, they, they were playing A site pretty passively with only one player actually pushed up inside the site. Once it got picked off, that's that's really the end of it. And uh, th there's a pre-rotation with three players going into B. The one pick at B site kept them there. Yep. Also big. Yeah. And the fact is that the main rotate that would have come in to assist A died through the Ruru's push. That was just like really, really out of nowhere. Really, really caught the Nile off guard, and now Splice is up 5-2 to two here, and they have the Nile again on a pretty poor buy. I see Peter boosting up with the AWP, looking down mid. Look at how close and tight and aggressive Shinobi is playing. Two players, and they're going to get picked off almost instantaneously, and then the uh, they, they pushed everything. Look, pushing up mid, pushing through Squeaky, pushing through a main. Uh, Root might be able to catch somebody off guard, but unfortunately he's trying to spam long range with this pistol. Just not meant to be leaving Vice. All alone. Yep, there's a player truck. He was pre-aimed, looking at the right spot, but uh, reaction time just wasn't good enough. Just a single kill for Vice. And I'm curious to see if the Nile's going to change things up a bit. They're a very aggressive team. Whitmer will have the op for the first time. Curious to see if you'll see him try to get aggressive somewhere with it or just hold mid. Maybe you see them try to do like a flash push through A main uh, or just try to change things up a bit. We do see them still know going 1-3-1, one, one, relying on Whitmer to anchor the A bomb site with that AWP while they keep three pressured at mid, but just Vice alone at B. That seems to be where the setup's coming from Splice, which nobody gets a kill and is right by the vents now to quick rotate to help Vice out. Yeah, you see Vice just watching the corner. Shinobi's going to work his way into vents just like you called Dust. Watching. Playing quietly. So the Nile's okay here. Do we? Creeps around the corner! Should have been a kill for Vice, just not meant to happen. Here come the grenades. And look at the double kill from Shinobi straight through checkers. Spamming with a collateral as well, and that's going to be uh, mopping it up fast and effective for Denial. That's yeah, important. Yeah, I mean, that's a big play from Shinobi, right? That's one of the things that uh, you're allowed when you can get mid control and put three pressure there. It gets you into events and it allows you to make the quick rotate to help out at B. And on top of that, just Shinobi being able to get three kills out of that rotate is massive. That's a bit more than what you'd even expect, especially since Vice went down for free. Um, that's just a massive individual effort there to Ooh, get the Nile around to work with. Yeah, a lot of a lot of smoke spam going on. You saw Sui just kind of unloading. Whitmer watching the smoke, hoping somebody peeks the corner, and Ake is also going to get dropped down. A lot of pressure going on on uh, A side though. Sick finds himself all alone with the op. Beautiful. Finds the edge of Slammy. What is this magic? Ruru also going down. Sick just going to hold the site. Looks up, tries to get one more kill. Not meant to be. Whitmer left all alone. One versus two. Now he knows exactly where one is. Just behind Quad. Got to find the other player. Yeah, but he was spotted by Peter. So Peter knows where he is playing this. He knows the bomb is going B. So he's just going to try to keep pressure on Whitmer to allow Stewie 2K a better chance to get the plant before Whitmer can get in position to put a stop to it. But this is still putting Stewie 2K in a rough 1v1. He's only got 9 HP. Whitmer can just pull out the pistol and just go to town. Yeah, Stewie's looking the wrong way, too. Doesn't exactly know where he's coming from. There you go. Drops into generator. Takes a couple of shots. Stewie just can't move. Can't get in any sort of position. He's already so hurt, and Whitmer picks up the 3K. Take See, that's where denial. I actually would have rather Stewie 2K just backtrack to A. You know, with the fact that Peter was in A site, he knew that Whitmer was highway. Just take the long way back around to A main. You have the time, and you have your teammate there to assist you. Whenever you decide to go B like that with low HP, you, you basically are relying on Peter to win some type of 1v1 against Whitmer to where the bomb plant is, like, negligible. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, you know, you're hoping Peter wins the round for you, but instead Peter goes down, and that gives Whitmer an advantageous 1v1 on the retake, and they kind of coughed up the round at that point. I, I think I think Peter felt a little more confident, and, and he might have actually told his, his teammate to go ahead and, and move. Hey, I've got this. I've got the kill if he tries to push anything, and it, it just didn't didn't work out. Yeah. Um, another gun round. 
That's big because that prevents denial from getting their money reset again. Had they lost that round, yeah, Vice would have been able to roll out to possibly like even a, an, an eight to three lead. So keeps them in the game. See some pressure going on. Oh, nice. Shinobi just peeks around from top of Catwalk. He's going to find one kill, and that's all it's going to take for Splice to go ahead and change their mind. Thankfully, uh, Aikis is able to go ahead and find Sick. That's one kill on B site. Not quite sure whether somebody else is there. He's going to go ahead and find Vice. What is this? Sick flick over. Finds the head of Vice, and that's going to be Bomb Plant 3v3 as the team sets up post plant positions quickly. Look at Ruru. That's how you lurk. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a two versus three here in favor of Splice. Whitmer does catch Ruru over there by the vent. So now a two on two fruit waiting over here in CT spawn as Whitmer gets inside the vents. Time is ticking, though. It's killing a little bit of opportunity for Denai, but now they're beginning to close in here. They're trying to work it out, trying to get in here together, but Peter finds fruit, and Akis will find Whitmer. And that's Splice taking their seventh round here. Money quite low for Denial. And, it, I mean, they're going to have to either choose to take a save here or, or do some type of force buy, and that's going to allow Splice to increase their lead a little bit easier. Yeah, with how low the money is, I, I, I don't think a force buy is necessarily warranted. Nope. They honestly need to end this round with an average of about $3,400. They're pretty close. Pick up a couple of kills. They're going to look really good for next round, but that's not how you do it. Getting cut down very quickly. Stewie2k, the man who did all that damage, is going to get cut down, though, and Whitmer picks up an AK-47 Vice. Yeah, he just knows exactly what's up. Catches Vice in the cheeky one-off spot. So there that you have it. Flies up 8-4. Money's still a bit tight on denial, but enough to get a full buy-in. They will even be able to drop an op over to Whitmer. Give him a shot. I wonder if they're going to use him in the same way to anchor a site while they try to push three heavy mid. Because Splice has certainly been abusing mid quite a lot this half. But it looks like, no, they're going to trust Whitmer to actually op mid. But that he's been smoked out. So now he's forced back. And A has been left completely open. Only sick there. Whitmer pre-rotates to B. They're pushing through B for a quick flank, however. So maybe that'll help him retake. Oh, sick messes up the, the spray. He's able to hold off just long enough to buy a little bit of time. Gets his head taken off. Bomb is planted. It's going to be planted for A main. Squeaky. All that. Slimy. Oh. Smoke and Whitmer off. Oh, look at Ruru. The effective lurker for Splice working his way around the corner and finds another kill. Almost looked like Ruru took the, the shot on Shinobi, but that was Akis uh, finishing the job with uh, 9 and yeah. 4. Denial broke. I mean, I think that's just a mistake on Whitmer's part. Uh, I mean, you have three guys pressing through B lobby for the quick flank play, which is fine, but because we saw Whitmer actually rotate towards B as well, which is not needed because your three guys are pushing B lobby, uh, that left Sick out the dry inside the A bomb site, and Whitmer was able to rotate in time to get one kill, but it just didn't matter at that point. So if he would have been there to help Sick out, maybe they get some better initial frags and better set up those three flankers. Vice is uh, consistently playing these eco rounds in these one-off spots. This time it is going to pay off. He spots two, takes the bomb down, and uh, gets the intel to allow Sick. I think that was Fruit to go ahead and finish the job. Ruru finds himself all alone. Straight off of the lurk, one kill, but uh, finding himself in a 1v3 with Vice with the intel. Just too powerful. 5-9 and nine is your scoreline. It's going to be the last round of the first half. Keep in mind, Splice won the previous map. If they can take it in the second half, that's going to be the end of it. 2-0. Whoever loses this game is out of the Star Series lower bracket yeah, playoffs. I mean, yeah, they're, they're eliminated. And Denial, whoever wins this, would then move on to play against the loser of luminosity and complexity. So... A lot on the line here. We thought the Nile was favored on this map, but it's all been all but that. Splice has been in complete control of this game here. And again, I mean, Stewie's been big, right? Just being the intro factor for this team. He's up to 16 kills before the half is over. Very good play from him throughout the game. You see Fruit. Watching the angle. Slim is going to peek the corner. Flick shot straight onto his head. Executing wow. the Pop Flash. Pop Flash wasn't even that good. Still able to find Sick. And knock him out. At this point, it looks like Denial might just be on tilt. Yeah, I mean, they don't look on the same page at all, man. 
Like the way that they've been trying, like even this round, the way they tried to approach retaking this A bomb site together, they just weren't even on the same. They page. weren't even they weren't together. Weapon to exactly. Individuals. That's a big problem. And then the round before that, there was a big mistake where three people push B lobby from denial, and Whitmer rotates with them for some reason with the op, leaving sick out, you know, stranded on the A site on a big heavy A hit from Splice. But there was a couple of little mess ups on rotations from the now throughout the game that really hurt him. Not only that, but just big plays from Splice, man. Stewie 2K again, 16 frags. Look, everyone else on that team also played, you know, well, either neutral ratio or positive by one or two frags. So uh, overall, just individual effort from really everyone on the not, excuse me, Splice at some point in time. And I think the other big factor fruit, was fruit how well. Showing up. Yeah, and I think the other big factor on top of all that is just how well Splice controlled mid throughout the game as terrorists. They really just abused it throughout most of the game. That helped them out a lot. Well, this time around, you got the fast and hard team of Denial, and it looks like they're just going to go ahead and do a flat-out rush through mid. Lots of shots. Uh, you see equal, equally strong aggression coming in from Splice at mid oh, as well. What is this magic? Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's the thing. Denial committed all their forces to mid. It allows Peter just to peak highway and take long-range shots to P2K without having to worry about pressure from A main. That's massive when you allow him to just set up like that and get free shots off. I mean, that, that kills you. You got to put some pressure at A main to pull Peter off so you can get up highway. A dual, um, a dual rush up mid actually looked kind of bad for Splice initially, losing those two members at top of mid. And Denial, I, I guess you called it, Dust. I mean, they, they are, they're a fast and hard-hitting team. Even though they've taken mid, they're not going to go ahead and slow down and say okay we we have mid now let's think yeah. about what to do next no they just charge in yeah, and and you take a range fight with peter with clocks while he's got a p2k just, just staring at highway no worries about having to check anything else i mean that's it and now look at this the collapse from splice pushing into a main stewie 2k just cleaning it up with this usb right now three crazy kills and wow that splice up 12 to 5 and this is looking like they're running away with it yeah it's a flawless round for splice Lots of cash, obviously. No need to go ahead and... Uh, 20 and twenty kills for Stewie already, man. Unreal. Yeah, he's just running around. Denial's going to force... They're going to buy some AK-47s. Just do what they can. Splice getting aggressive in mid once again. On point, Stewie 2K pushes the corner! And Whitmer just doesn't expect it. He's going to get dropped almost instantaneously. And all this aggression is, is paying off in, in droves. Now they're starting to get cut down. Splice not going to back off, though. Continues to push the issue, picking one by one. Vice is going to be left. Last man standing in the corner. What can you do? Buying up so aggressively, though. Uh, denial's broke again. Yeah, I mean... Now it's the first buy around. You don't even have full guns to work with. You're still just on Tech 9s and stuff. So not managing the economy very well here on Denial. They... Didn't have any bomb plants even to try to do like a proper four spot in the third round like that. So yeah, just big money mismanagement. Well, I don't, I don't think they had that much of a choice though. I mean, you're looking at this, this runaway score line, and and there's not much you can do now. Denial's just going to come charging into the A site. Uh, they lose far too many members. They do a little bit of damage. They're able to actually get into the site, but the bomb is dropped, and that buys enough time for Slammy to start working his way up from truck. Finds one, finds two. And that's going to be a double 2k round. Slummy and Ake is doing most of the work. Yeah, see, I I, I mean, I kind of disagree. I think the Nasha just saved and tried to buy. Because now you're getting your first buy round in when Splice is going for map point. And that's not leaving you a lot yeah. of room to work with if things go wrong. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to try, though. Whitmer's going to have the op. They're going to have the AKs. Again, this team is usually just a very fast A execute team. Sometimes very fast mid pressure. And it looks like they are going for like a triple man boost out mid. So that seems to be what they're looking for, but it's not working out. Root missing the spray. Is just going to tuck tail and work his way into the B side. B is actually starting to fall apart. Peter's the last man standing down to 20 health caught without his op quite ready to rock. And he's going to get knocked down off of his high horse. Bomb planted. And it's up to Akis on the retake. I don't think he's aware that Fruit's here, but he's going to go ahead and check the corner. Sprays down, misses the shots, though. Oh, and Shinobi tried to sneak away, but got caught. So Splice will go up to map point. And then now they do get a bomb plant. They are at max loss bonus. So with those two things combined, you're looking at $4,200 rolling in. 
which means they have plenty of money to make a purchase here, but that's the least of their problems. They've yet to find around this terrorist side, despite the fact that they have, you know, already played out the pistols. They've already had two kind of buy arounds, and either one has panned out so far, and they have to win 10 in a row to get an overtime. That seems to be asking a bit much out of the form we've seen out of the now tonight. And then they need to win four rounds out of that overtime. It's... It's not looking good for Denial. Oh, look at Ruru. <gasps> what is this? Oh my goodness. Rubbing the shoulders. I don't think he was quite aware of what was going on. On the oh other side my. of smoke though, there it is. Sick ends up on top, taking the kill, putting us into a 2v1. Peter left alone. Denial might finally get a round in on this half. Possible, but Peter's here. He's gonna get two one-on-ones out of this. Well, there's the first one. Switches to the P250, unloads on Whitmer. And it's down to just this 1v1. I but like Whitmer's chances here. In the smoke. Nice use of the grenade. Oh my god. Drops the molly, rushes right through the molly. And Peter, in that moment of indecision, gets taken down. Hey, Denial's still in it. Not by much, but they're still in yeah. it. I mean, Peter certainly can't expect Whitmer to do that. I mean, just run through his own Molotov and, and push him, but it's that type of, you know, uh, scrimmy type play that works out. Uh, that gimmick pays off, and then I'll get around, but they need to find nine more. Maybe Splice, you know, gets a little bit over aggressive there to try to just end this thing early, but they have a lot of room to make mistakes and still close out this game. And so, yeah, it's still going to be tough on Denial, but they're oh, trying fruit, to fight on. for it. Fruit taking the long range spray down now. Now, seeing the revolver in, I guess I guess this uh, server does have the patch. Yes, it added. does. So I wonder if that long range spray down might have worked a little bit better previously prior to the patch. I'm sure uh, it did. Because I've I've seen a number of situations where where players are going for these spray downs and it's just it's not happening the way we're used to seeing the the, the professional players operate. So might be affecting Denial's gameplay just a little bit. Bomb's gonna go down on the B site though. Stewart 2K finds himself all alone. Finds a single kill. Problem is, by getting that kill, gives his position away. Whitmer standing there holding the hard angle with the AWP. And finishes it off. Denial 7 and 15. Finally breaking the economy of Splice. Yeah, so I mean, they're finally forcing Splice onto a save that should give them an eighth round here. But then after that, Splice is still probably gonna be able to fit in, you know, at worst case scenario within regulation, at least another you know, three or four buys to try to close out this game. And, okay, well, we don't get to see that round. Well, that's just the, the go TV bug we normally see just applying, you know, around early, so. Analyze that one, Wonder Doug. who's going to win this game. <laughs> Wonder who wins this game now. Want to wanna, wanna bet on it? Who wins this round? Uh, hmm. I'm going to it's bet my entire life savings denied. on Splice. Clearly denial, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you, okay, well, you want to go life savings versus life savings? <laughs> no. All right. No, let's not do that. Okay. I think we know how this one's going to end now. Let's see one how One thing didn't out. change in the CSGO update. Yeah, all right. And that's ruining games with a go TV bug. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how it plays out. Okay. A little bit of aggression. Oh, I like this, Slemmy. Hiding behind smoke. He's going to get behind these players. That's exactly what's going to happen. No? Pushes the corner. Whitmer! Oh. With the off shot. Speaking of GOTV bugs. There we go. Camera just refuses to lock on. Whitmer's going to find himself all alone. One versus three situation. Oh. Just spamming through the wall. So, pretty quick <laughs> best of three here. Yeah, not yeah. much to say about that. Yeah, the Nile just got plowed uh, is really the best way to put it. Uh, I mean, I think the Nile looked incredibly sloppy tonight. You know, losing on Dust 2, for example, they lost a couple of, like, five on threes and three on twos. Just losing rounds where they had the advantage, and if they would have worked together better, they would have, you know, probably won some of those rounds. It would have been a different story on Dust 2. And here on Cash, again, you just saw... I think some mistakes with how they were rotating at times. Uh, they just didn't look on the same page. But then you flip sides, and Splice played excellent. You know, they were on the same page. They're executing very well. Their guys were hitting their shots. The guys you expect to have big impacts, you know, guys like 
Ruru and, and Stewie 2K, who I fear are like kind of the impact rifles on that team. One being an entry fragger and Stewie, Ruru being more of a lurk. Uh, they they showed up tonight and they played well. And no one played bad. Like everyone on Splice was, you know, positive ratio putting in the work. So when you have one team that's firing on cylinders and one team that's looking a bit sloppy, you know, it, it's a formula for success for the team who's on. Denial in that interview. He was talking about Team Splice and his thoughts were that when you go toe to toe, player to player, Denial has a much better team in terms of individual skill than Splice. And unfortunately, I just didn't see that happening today. Specifically with Vice, you know, we see Vice doing impressive work in a lot of these online games, and he just wasn't present to begin with. Especially when you look at their, their play on cash. This is a map that Denial is actually known for, and not only are they known for being well on cash, Splice is known for being legitimately poor at the map. You shouldn't get 16 aided like that. Uh, again, they just look completely out of it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's just kind of a, a really one-sided affair here in favor of Splice, I guess, getting a little bit of revenge after losing the Premier Finals to the same team in an 0-2 fashion, though the maps were, of course, much different in that oh, yeah. scenario. Um, but just wanted to quickly mention it. And, you know, well, now it's going to be it's gonna be Splice who moves on in this bracket for a shot still to qualify for this LAN event, and now they're eliminated. They're out of it. It's going to be a hard job for Splice, though. I mean, they're, they're going to have to face the loser of complexity or luminosity um more than likely gonna turn out to be complexity if, I, if i'm a gambling man got their work cut out for them but splice has been on the up and up especially at northern arena right in fact i think it was splice who knocked complexity out of the group stage no no complexity lost to clg in the finals of that event well, clg eliminated splice northern arena yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, CLG is the one that got rid of Splice. We're in there. But without further ado, we're going to take a quick break here. I think we might actually jump into another game. Well, Winter Fox is playing Method right now, so we may try to see if we can't make a transfer to that game. Uh, so I guess is it stay live? tuned. It is. I think they're, they started the second map. Apparently the first map, uh, Method beat Winter Fox 16 to 6 on Cobble, but now they're on Dust 2 playing right now. So I think we may try to get into that if we can. I know we've been having some issues uh, with Go TV. Yeah, it's been like a it's, difficult. It, 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 it was even rough to get into this game you just watched. Yeah. So we were able to get it working, but we're going to try to see if we can get into this other one here. So give us a second. We're going to take a quick break, play a little bit of music. We're going to try to see if we can't make a transition to the Winter Fox Method game and see if we can't catch the end of that for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. We'll be back in a second to let you know.